Good afternoon. This is International English Language Testing System powered by IDB. This is Examiner Kamal Rana and I am here to conduct the speaking of candidate number 111281. This is Examiner Kamal. How may I call you? You may address by my first name is Jagroof. This is your full name Jagroof? No, my full name is Jagroof Singh. Okay, Jagroof. Does your name have any special or specific meaning? Yes, my name is having a special meaning of, that means purity and love. Uh, it was given by my grandfather. Why do you think your name is unique or common in your area? Uh, my uh, name is unique because I haven't met a single person of my name and even uh, the meaning of my name is so unique which is love and peace. Okay, do you work or study? Uh, no, uh, currently I am studying. Uh, I have pursued it my plus two recently. Okay, where do you live? I live in a local uh, town named Garshanga, which is located in the district of Shiatpur in state Punjab. Do you like your hometown? Yes, definitely. I like my hometown very much because of all the facilities that are provided me, uh, like of education facilities and healthcare facilities. Is your hometown well connected with other metropolitan cities? Yes, definitely. My hometown is well connected with other modern cities uh, due to, um, with the help of transport system as um, of the uh, means of highways as well. Okay. Do you live in the house or apartment, Jiru? Uh, currently, I am living in the house. house uh, I am living there since my childhood and I am emotionally attached with my house. Okay. Which room in the house is your favorite? Uh, well, frankly speaking, the favorite uh, room in my house is my uh, room in my house is my own room because I feel so comfortable uh, sitting over there and are uh, getting all the facilities that I require. Okay, now in this section, I'm going to ask a few questions about superstition and superstitious people in your area. And my first question is: Do you think only educated people are superstitious in your country? Uh, no, I think uh, think so, but. Uh, they, um, more, I think so that non-educated people are superstitious because of their old beliefs and the things that they have known from centuries but rather educated people don't believe in superstitious things. What are some common beliefs among Indians uh, if I talk about uh, superstitions in your area or at you? There are many common superstitions that people believe like uh, if when you sneeze it is a bad uh, uh, cause and oh, while uh, yawning uh, you may be at risk uh, or even while um, uh, I hiccups someone is remembering you. Don't you think it's uh, real stuff or not real stuff? I mean superstitions. Uh, I think so that is not real because um, there is no current uh, thing that happened with me but rather people also believed it uh, from past few years but I don't believe it so. Do you think you are superstitious? No, definitely I'm not a superstitious because I'm not believe in these types of things. Rather, uh, my family believes in these things, uh, but uh, I completely ignore the effects. Why do you think uh, some people believe in superstitions and some are not? Uh, mostly educated people don't believe in superstitious things. Rather, uneducated people believe because of their old beliefs and uh, the methods they are revealing from centuries. But uh, uh, in the due to uh, the education system, uh, the superstitious things in uh, educated people are is not present. Would you say in the future much more people believe in superstitions? No, definitely not. In future, people would not be at all superstitious because of growing of education and awareness among people. Okay, what do you do for fun whenever you have time? Uh, mainly uh, when I am free I used to draw drawing and painting as it is I am having a keen interest in this topic since my childhood and I have even participated in many competitive exams as well. Okay Jagru, that's all for the first part of the RS speaking test. Now it's time to discuss second part of the RS speaking test. In this section you will be given one topic card and you will have on one minute for notes and preparation. If you want to make some notes we have please paper and pencil on the table. You can use it when I will allow you to use it. And okay. today your cue card is, let's see, here is your topic. Describe a plan you have for the future, not later to work or study. And your time start now.
Okay, could you please start now? Yes. There are a lot of plans that everybody have in their life to become um, whatever they want. Here I would like to discuss um, uh, as I am uh, uh, having a keen interest in trying um, a topic. So I would like to persuade it um, in my future. I planned it from last few years. Uh, I would like, uh, I would be uh, able to achieve this um, uh, uh, plan by with the help of practice and hard work. Um, I want to um, uh, achieve this plan because I am having a keen interest in this topic from since my childhood. It is a matter of uh, last two uh, two years when I first uh, came across this idea. Uh, as I was not at all having interest in drawing from since my childhood, but uh, uh, after watching a lot of uh, films and movies regarding this field, I um, thought that I should be uh, should have some interest in this field. So I even joined some uh, drawing classes and also uh, practice a lot. And now I'm uh, currently uh, even uh, participating in many competitive exams of drawing and painting, and even achieved many prizes as well. So I would like to persuade this in my future because as I am having a keen interest and also having um, good drawing skills, I would like to be able to achieve this uh, plan and also I will be able to become a good uh, artist and so that my, uh, my uh, drawing paintings are also held in many exhibitions as well. Okay, that's all for the second part Shibru. Now it's time to discuss last section that is follow-up discussion in this section i'm going to ask a few questions about future aspects or plans according to you which is better having a lot of plans or having no plans at all according to me having a lot of plans is much better instead of having no plans because it will help uh, it is there if there is a wide variety of plans in your mind you can adopt anything in the future but if you are not having any plan in your mind it will become difficult for you because uh, it, uh, you cannot pursue any career or field in the future without any successful plan what is the role of plans in the success for individuals according to you uh, plans play a very vital role in successful humans because without planning nobody uh, can uh, achieve their goal or uh, uh, field because plans uh, uh, because with the help of plan one can uh, know all the steps he has to perform in the uh, uh, in the future to achieve his goal would you say only age group people make better plans than other age group people uh, according to me, all age group people can make better plans irrespective of their age or of their uh, mindset because um, uh, nowadays uh, awareness is uh, uh, spread all over the world and uh, all age groups are aware that we should be able to f make future plans if we have to become a successful person. We can even see that children are also making plans for their future studies of how they have to study and how uh, to they have to give exams. Okay, why do most people make plans before they go to travel according to you? Um, most people make plans because um, uh, it would be easier for them to visit each and every place they uh, they are going because uh, if they have made plans prior to their visit, they can uh, visit each and every place and have fun of the uh, visit as well. Okay, do you think planning helps people to be prepared for unseen troubles? Yes, definitely according to me, planning helps uh, to absorb uncertain uh, circ circumstances because if we are not uh, are not uh, making any plans, it would be difficult for us to uh, have a, a successful future. But uh, even if we are having plans in our mind and even any uncertainty ha happens to us, we are able to absorb it and are able to overcome it. Do you also make plans before we go out or traveling? Yes, definitely I make plans because I am having a man mindset in uh, because uh, so that I can uh, do each and everything according to my plan and should not um, miss anything. Okay, how do individuals feel when their plans do not work out? Mostly individuals get frustrated and do not um, uh, uh, behave properly uh, because it takes a lot of time to make a plan and if their plan doesn't work out, they become frustrated and irritated, and uh, you know, out of career uh, and out of tension, they don't even try to make plans in their future. 
Okay, Jeff Rook, this is the last question. And my last question is, do you think being unsuccessful is a sign of poor planning? Yes, according to me, uh, being unsuccessful is an um, outcome of poor planning because a uh, successful person uh, have, al uh, have always made a plans in their life prior to their any engagement in any type of work whereas a successful person don't make plans uh, and uh, they, um, uh, they are unable to overcome the uh, circumstances and uh, are not able to become a successful person. Okay, that's all for the today's Silas speaking test. All the best. Thank you. Thank you.